There I go. Look at me go. Look at me go. Just getting in some bounding. You can see from some screenshots of the video how I really extend. The emphasis is to get range of motion, get some good form out of it, knees high, put force into the ground. My emphasis is distance, so every time that I do a bound, I'm trying to get a good bit of distance from one bound to the next bound, single leg bounding, good arm swing. That's about 10 bounds. I think I went about uh, maybe about 30 yards or so. And it's important to rest between these types of explosive exercises because you want to focus on the explosion. They're not necessarily for conditioning. They're to uh, teach you how to explode and get a good range of motion while executing them with good form. Checked out uh, Feed the Cats, uh, Coach Tony Holler, he coaches uh, high school kids. He has a uh, his Feed the Cats deal on YouTube, what he calls X-Factor Days, and instead of sprinting, he'll engage in you know, this type of plyometrics, maybe do some bounding or some other types of plyometrics. There's more still shots to see the type of range of motion that you can get, type of extension through the body that you can get. My knees are up high, the plant leg is very straight, put a lot of force into the ground. I'm talking about uh, having explosion, the good old standard broad jump is good for explosion as well. Loosen up shoulder width apart, explode, and you get good extension out of that, that's not bad for an old fat guy. Here's a look at the range of motion you can get out of the good old standard broad jump. Yeah, so some bounding and broad jump. Insert those into your workouts. They're good for sprinters. 